Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine and I like to wear non-prescription glasses because it's a look. <laughs> Do you wear anything yourself that you probably shouldn't but other people actually have to wear? Let me know in the comments below. So as you can see by today's title of the video, we are going to be getting into the nitty gritty of this here cooler. So um, I did a poll on Instagram. I posted a picture of all my food outside of my lunchbox and then a picture of it all inside of my lunchbox. So, um, and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a video of me kind of going in, in depth on how I pack my crew cooler for um, my three day trips. Um, so I've only been flying for a few weeks now and um, I pretty much have already got it down to a science. I'm sure that over time I'll maybe switch it up or try new things. But as of right now, going into my what, like sixth, fifth week, sixth, fifth week of, of flying, um, this is what I have gotten down. So shout out to my dad because before I had this awesome freaking cooler, I had this like just big square lunch box and you know it had one strap really basic one zipper and that was it I struggled really bad because it didn't stay on my uh, rollerboard it was always falling off I like ghetto rigged it onto my rollerboard so that I could get through the airport and things like that it was a struggle and I explained it to my dad and then lo and behold he threw it in his Amazon cart and the next day texted me saying that he got the crew cooler <laughs> So before we get deep into it, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We are almost to a thousand subscribers, y'all. The family is growing and I'm just so happy. So I have the Ebax Crew Cooler. And honestly, right now, this thing is heavier than my freaking suitcase. So yeah. Um, but this is the e-bags. You can see the e-bags logo here. Off rip, the biggest thing that I love about this bag is this little slot in the back that allows me to just hook this right onto my rollerboard. Luckily, my rollerboard is right here next to me. Um, so my suitcase, as I'm traveling through the airport, you know, I don't have to worry about lugging this thing. What I did before was take like the strap and I like hooked it onto this part, wrapped it around, and it was just a mess with my other lunchbox. But now that I have this crew cooler that's actually built and made for my type of work um i can easily just take it and slide it right onto there and it's not going anywhere Ooh. it's not going anywhere by the way i just got to my hotel in oklahoma so yeah i needed to record this video because i'm starving and i don't want to take too much food out of here before i have to actually like record this video for you guys and stuff so starting with the outside there are two slots here um, that are for your water bottles and it doesn't have to be for your water bottles either it just has a net for your water bottles and it's the same thing on the other side so it has two of them okay all right so up here we can start with this top zipper so we have a zipper here actually let's start with this bottom one right so in this bottom one, I have my utensils. I kind of get over it. I can get um, good utensils from on the plane, but I mean, I just also buy my. I also threw my daily vitamins and my some like allergy medicine down in this little baggie. But yes, this is where I will keep that kind of stuff. I have some chapstick. And then I also have some like ketchup and mayonnaise packet so that is really all that's in here um nothing much to that zipper all right so this is my snacking situation right here um so in this zipper i keep most of the snacks um so i just got these like kind bars that were like 10 for a dollar um i mean 10 for a dollar that were 10 for 10 at Kroger um, and these were like four for five but I only got two of them I've actually heard 
seen a lot of people eating these um, and they're they're supposed to like give you some energy so I only got two to try them out I'm not really sure how they taste or how they're going to taste so yeah I got two of those another little kind bar um, I keep my bananas in here because I do love to have bananas in the morning a lot of the hotels that we stay in do not have continental breakfast um, so yeah, I try to keep, like, my bananas up there or whatever. Um, I also have, like, some little chocolates. Just some little, like, you know, just little candies to nibble on throughout the day. I had two of them today. So, um, and then I also have some fruit snacks that I keep up here. I ate one today. So, I did just finish day one of my three-day trip. So, there are, go there is a few things missing in here. I had one cheese string, I had my lunch, and then I had a granola bar. I'm sorry, not a granola bar, I had a fruit snack. And So that's pretty much it for the top section. Just to kind of show you guys, it's pretty deep. It can pretty much fit a lot of things. Um, but that is the top section. So now we're going to get right into the bulk of the lunch box all right so now time to get on the inside of the bag so placed on top basically there is no strategy to how I pack the actual bag the method to the madness is just packing it in any way that it can fit so if I take this stuff off this is what it looks like on the inside So um, I pack lunch meat and cheese and bread. Um, you wouldn't be able to tell because it's really like smushed right now, but this is four slices of bread, um, turkey meat, cheese, and then I also have a little container in here that has mayonnaise in it, okay? So in between flights, sometimes I will um, you know make a quick sandwich if I don't have time or anywhere to heat up my food or things like that um, I'm able to do that or if I'm just like late at night just like I'm like oh I need something to eat or I'm hungry or something like that and I really just I really try not to spend money on layovers so I pack sandwiches even though I have plenty of food disclaimer a lot of times I don't eat a lot of the food in my lunch bag so that's just a disclaimer I just choose to to pack more um, because you never know I could get flown into my off day I've had a situation where a flight attendant didn't bring her lunch so I was able to make her a sandwich like things like that so it does come in handy um, and so moving forward I have these two little um simply truth greek yogurts um i packed two of them so this is just for the morning time um i will enjoy those in the morning um and i love applesauce so i pack two applesauces um these will help me get through the day if i'm just like i'm a big snacker throughout the day so um anything to just help me get through it um, I have some cheese string. I did have one of these today along with a fruit snack earlier. Um, and so then I also have two of these Bolt House Farms breakfast smoothies. So one of them is strawberry banana and then one of them is just a strawberry breakfast smoothie with like granola. Um, yeah, it's just a strawberry parfait. And like, see this stuff is already like kind of getting warm. I have not mastered I haven't mastered um, how to keep everything cool in my other lunch box everything stayed cold um, because I couldn't put as much in there and so yeah but um I have some grapes oh yeah I also ate some of these today so I have grapes and now to get to the bulk of like the real meals so for my lunch I packed chicken and sweet potato um, I ate one of them today, so that's why it's empty. I had it for lunch today when I clocked in to work. Um, and now I have another one that I can eat. And this one, like, I just know my trips. So, like, I look ahead of time at my trips and see what, what, like, what's going to happen throughout my day. So, on Monday, on the last day of my trip, I have, like, a four-hour sit. 
um, in between flights. So this is gonna be perfect because that sit is right in between lunchtime. It's perfect time to be swayed into wanting to buy food. So I have this um, that will feed me and that will be my lunch um, on Monday. And like tomorrow for lunch, I'll probably just whip up a sandwich on the plane or whatever. This is my dinner for tonight. Um, and this is just spaghetti. I always just try to do like a pasta, at least one pasta because although it's probably not the healthiest, a lot of carbs and things like that, it's really easy to pack. This pasta is gonna last me for two meals. So I'm gonna have some of it tonight uh, and probably like an applesauce and go to bed. Um, and then the way out, and then to help me pack it and to keep the main courses full, cool, I, um, and the inside, here on the inside I have my ice packs on the side and then I line up my meals my meats and such on the side behind me. So like they're like that, you know what I'm saying? And the other two will go in the same way, like on the side or whatever. I also forgot to mention that I keep two oatmeals, little instant oatmeals in my purse um, if they can't fit in my bag uh, because this coffee and banana gets me through my morning, so yeah. Shout out to the Instagram. So yeah, guys, that is what is in my lunchbox. Really simple, easy, straightforward video. When I get to the hotel, I always put my food right back in the fridge. I um, fill up my ice bucket and I put all my ice packs in the ice bucket. Um, I also keep some ice too because I do have like bottled water that isn't cold. Um, so I'll just pour it in a cup and with with ice, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but to keep my ice packs frozen or at least somewhat frozen, I do put them in the ice buckets um, overnight. Um, and then in the morning, I pack my lunchbox right back up and I head to back on to work. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting a look into my crew cooler and how I pack up my crew cooler. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join the family. We'd love to have you. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.